Hi, Nicole with you from iPad Calligraphy. Savage just released Procreate 4.3 today and it's really exciting update because it contains the ability to create text. It's a feature that people have wanted from a really long time so it's really exciting. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. Basically you just go to your actions panel, that's a little spanner icon at the top and you'll see this option here for add text and then our text appears. You just type what you want to type There you go, it's as easy as that. You've got text ready to go. So an easy way to scale that up is to just go to your select tool and you can just pinch and expand um, to scale up or there's another option of editing the style. So as long as you've got your text layer selected, a double click will bring you back into its active editable state and you can move the cursor along and make any changes you need. So this is amazing because previously, you know, we were using other apps like whether you'd go in uh, to Adobe or using apps like Over and Affinity, we were creating our text there and bringing it into Procreate. So this is much, much easier. If you want to change the style at all, you can um, just select it to bring back this um, tab, your keyboard, and you've got this button, Edit Style, which will bring up your font properties. So you've got any fonts that you've got installed in on your iPad will appear here. So you can change the font type down the left. Then you've got your style type. So these, um, these are according to what font you have selected, bold, light, regular. You've also got size option here, which scales nicely, and you'll see that the bounding box moves with it, so it's not um, cutting off the text. So that's a really nice fluid movement. You can also adjust your kerning. Of course, it's the space between the letters there. Your tracking, letting, baseline just moves the text up above the baseline, and uh, opacity is what it says. It just adjusts the opacity. You can um, affect the uh, alignment. So you've got your uh, left, aligned, center, right aligned or justified. Um, and then we also have the ability to underline, but this is really cool as well. So what I might do is to double tap and select everything. Just go select all. And if I turn this on, that automatically makes um, the text capital letters, which is awesome. That's really easy. But also this one here, you'll see you've got outline. So if I just tap that there, I get this outline on the text. This is a really, really cool, quick, easy way to just get um, an outline on a solid color. At the moment, what it's done is removed the body of the font. So it's just completely outlined. If I turn off my background, you can see straight through there. So it's turned, um, turned the text into um, an outline. If I rasterize this, rasterize just means it's changed it now from being an editable text layer to a layer uh, like any other design object, anything you drew. Um, so just pixels basically, back to pixels. So what we can do from there is just color drop and you'll see you can fill those letters. So that's amazing. That's really quick and easy just to get, um, you know, a, an outline on your text. Very cool feature. So if I go back just before I rasterized it, um, we can also import custom fonts, which is awesome. So um, going back into the layer and bringing up our um, edit tab here, all you need to do is, um, so if you know how to split screen, basically you just bring up the bottom dashboard and you bring up your files app and uh, transfer the font files over via either iCloud or Dropbox, whatever you're used to using there. And then just simply it's a matter of dragging and imports. That is just so cool. I can't believe how easy that is. I thought we might need a third party app like iFont or something like that, but they've just made it so easy. So it's really, really cool. So once you've got your layer selected, now in order to use that app, um, that font we just installed, just bring back your font dialog box and it was called Wild Creatures, the one I just installed. So I'm going to select all, make sure you select all first actually, and then um, scroll down and find the font that you just installed. I'll take that outline off and I'm also gonna take off the um, uppercase letter and I'm going to go back here and just give this T a capital T so it looks better. And then um, there you have it. 
amazing so cool so that's going to open up so many options for a whole new world in procreate really like they're giving us less and less reason to um transfer to different apps and um just giving us more reason to stay in the app so thanks guys amazing update and i will be back with more of what 4.3 includes but this is by far the biggest best um update there's been for a while so i hope you enjoyed as much as i do thanks and see you next time